Hi, my name is JC. I am an application engineer in Maxim Integrated. The Max 17320 battery fuel gauge plus protector is the most integrated solution for multiple series cell battery pack application. In this demo, I'm going to show how an accurate fuel gauge Max 17320 can provide a better battery safety and user experience. Now we have the Fugage GUI connected to the MAX17320. If this is the first time the battery pack is connected, usually we will configure the charging voltage, current and protection schemes through our user-friendly configuration wizard. We are using battery simulator for this demo. So we will start with factory default values for step 1. In step 2, we are using sense resistor 5 milliohm to measure the battery current. The existing model information is already very comprehensive for normal lithium-ion battery in the market. So we select do not change the model. If you are using a specific battery pack, please select use model gauge m 5 easy model and fill in the battery details to help our fuel gauge characterization. Next, in this demo, the MAX17320 is configured to support two cells batteries with four thermistors. Disable the backup LDO output and we are using 6 volt gate driver voltage. Step 4 is used by fuel gauge to maintain equal charge on all cells inside a 2S, 3S or 4S pack. We do not need any cell balancing with battery simulator. Let's click next. We are in step 5, we are setting the protection threshold while charging. We'll be using default charging configuration. As you can see, during normal room temperature, the maximum charging current is 4 m and the battery charging voltage is about 4.2 volt. The fuel gauge will lower the protection threshold for charging voltage and charging current if the battery pack's temperature is higher than or lower than the room temperature. The pre current is used to slowly charge up the depleted battery. The battery voltage has to reach certain threshold before the fuel gauge allows the battery charger to fast charge the battery. In step 6, we are setting the discharge protection threshold. Fuel gauge make use of the discharging protection threshold to prevent battery pack from over discharge. Next, in step 7, we are enabling battery internal self discharge detection. For those that who is interested to set the optional configurations and explore more all the way to step 16, you can skip the optional configuration as it is rarely used. This is a general purpose data storage. Please click next. Step 18 shows that there's a summary of changes. Please click update IC and close. It takes less than a minute for user to complete the basic configuration. Let's look at the fuel gauge status. So first of all, we can see this uh, state of charge. The GUI dashboard has indicator to show time to full while charging and time to empty while discharging. Max 17320 fuel gauge is configured to support two cell battery. You can see cell 1 and cell 2 voltage is about 3.7 volts. So the total cells voltage is 7.4 volt, which is aligned with battery simulator setting. We can also observe that fuel gauge and its die temperature is near to the room temperature. The thermistor temperature here is usually located very near to battery to monitors battery's temperature. Charging fat and discharging fat indicate that fuel gauge is turned on properly. The fuel gauge GUI has a real-time graph, which is very user-friendly. Now I would like to plug in the 65 watt power adapter to charge the battery with 3 amps. Based on the waveform, channel 4 is the VBUS. It has been negotiated to 20 volt 3 amp. So by now, it should start charging the battery with 3 amp. Here we can see the charging current increased from 0 to 3 amp. The battery voltage is also increased from 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt. In next demo, we would like to apply dynamic loading at the sys pin. There is no power adapter connected to the USB-C port. So, battery is going to supply the dynamic current to the system. The minimum current will be 0 amp. Maximum current is 2 amp. T on is 2 second. T off is 2 second. With slew rate 250 milliamp per microsecond. Now I apply the loading. Let's zoom in to the graph to see the change of the current. 
we can observe battery is supplying dynamic current 0M to 2M to the system. You can see the state of charge remains stable even though there's a change in the loading. The external NTC thermistor connections allow the MAX17320 fuel gauge to measure temperature of the cells in the battery pack by monitoring TH1 to TH4 pins. In this demo, we would like to demonstrate protection feature with simulated temperature rise or fall using a potentiometer to show protection fats turning off and on as temperature changes. So we replace TH1 thermistor with 10K potentiometer to simulate the temperature rise and fall. As you can see now, TH1 indicates that the battery pack cell temperature is at 25 Celsius. Let's try to adjust the 10K potentiometer to increase the temperature and observe the fuel gauge behavior. As you can observe, the temperature is increasing to 30 Celsius. Assuming fast charge, the battery is causing the battery pack's temperature to rise and reaching T warm threshold 40 degrees Celsius, the fuel gauge will automatically limit the charging current. The MAX17320 fuel gauge can dynamically adjust the charging voltage and current levels with temperature and create a charging fault if charger exceeds the limits. You may apply room temperature charging profile at higher temperature using the JETA protection feature. In our demo, it will limit the charging current to below 3 amps. Next, let's assume battery pack temperature continue to increase to T-hot threshold 45 degrees Celsius. The fuel gauge will further lower the protection threshold. In our demo cases, it is not more than 2 amps. Let's proceed to increase the temperature to 55 degrees Celsius. When the battery pack temperature is reaching T, too hot threshold, 55 degrees Celsius. Fuel gauge will send charging fault indicator to indicate over temperature for charging. If the problem persists and the temperature is increased to 75 degrees Celsius, the fuel gauge will turn off both charging fat and discharging fat. Besides this, it will send fault indicators to indicate over temperature for charging and discharging. Let's increase the 10K potentiometer to provide a simulated temperature for and observe the behavior of the fuel gauge. Once the battery pack is lower than 70 degrees, the fuel gauge starts to enable both charging fat and discharging fat. The protection status has changed and indicates that the battery pack is too hot to charge. Let's further reduce the temperature. Once the battery pack's temperature falls below 53 degrees Celsius, the protection status change. It indicates that the battery is suitable to be charged and discharged. This shows that MAX17320 is robust to protect our battery pack when temperature is rising or falling. That's it for the demo. Thank you for joining us.